Hey everybody, it's Ford, and today I just want to walk you through a simple DIY for rodent proofing or mouse proofing uh, your garage doors. So, we live in an area where there is heavy snow load, and it's the start of winter now. It's wet, we've got a little bit of snow on the ground. We got a couple things going on. Uh, we have winter coming in. We've done a lot of work on the property, which has displaced a lot of mice. Uh, the people next door to us, uh, who are clearing a, a lot, they're also displacing mice. So what's happening is, the mice are chewing a hole in the bottom edges of the doors. And it's a very common problem. There are products you can buy, uh, but I'm not a big fan of them, so I did my own little solution. So, I'll show you what I've done. <clears throat> the bottom six inches of the door here, this door seal, which is original to the house and needs to be replaced, obviously, but I'll worry about that in the spring. The bottom six inches I cut out and I actually replaced with aluminum angle. Now, I went with one eighth, one eighth of an inch thickness, uh, simply because, again, we have heavy snow load. I thought about doing flashing, uh, but I didn't want it to get all bent up while I'm in there with a shovel clear and snow. I wanted to do something that was going to last. Uh, so this is pretty sturdy, and if a mouse tries to chew its way through that, uh, he's probably going to freeze to death before he achieves the objective. So, anyways, it's a simple, it's a simple fix, simple solution doesn't require a lot of tools. If you don't own a lot of tools, it's not a problem. Basically, you, you pick up this stuff. You can pick it up at Home Depot. Cut it off to 6 inch length. You can do a 3, three inch length if you want. It doesn't matter. Cut it off with a hacksaw. And I fastened it to the sides using um, stainless steel self-tapping screws. Now, I did pre-drill some holes, but you don't have to. And then I finished it off with just some caulking. And that should absolutely keep um, any mice out, uh, God forbid rats, snakes, anything like that. Whatever happens to live in your area, that will keep it out. And it's a very easy fix, it's a long-lasting fix, and it's a pretty cheap fix. Now, one thing I didn't do, and which I would suggest if you're going to do this and you have kids, if you file off the edges, uh, right here just to, to blunt them so that you know if you got kids coming in and out of the garage They're not getting hurt um, And that's about it So anyways Thank you very much and uh, hope you enjoy the video and if you have some comments All I ask is you know make a construction constructive criticism that would be very much appreciated But anyway, uh, thank you for your time. I forgot to add if you really want to control mice on your property, I strongly advise you get yourself one of these. This is Echo, this is our Australian Shepherd, and uh, she got 14 mice in one day on our property. Now, the interesting thing about Echo is that she considers it her job to flush them out, find them, and pick them up with her mouth. And then she comes over and drops them at my feet, and uh, and all that, it's my job, I guess, to dispose of them. So we each have our job. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much.